All right, if you're feeling cramped and isolated at home, try spending time aboard the International Space Station. NASA's Peggy Whitson did that for longer than any other American. She spent 665 days in space, including a stretch lasting more than nine months, earning her the nickname, the Space Ninja. Peggy Whitson, the Space Ninja, joins us now for some practical advice on handling isolation from her home near Austin, Texas. Peggy Whitson, good morning. Good morning. How are you folks doing today? We're doing okay, but yeah. tell us how to do this because you're, yeah. you're way better at it than we are. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's actually very doable, um, but it, it, it's very important to be able to interact well with the people you're, you're staying with, you're living with. And interesting, a lot of people are trying to work from home and trying to be parents from home and uh, have a family at home. And so it becomes very challenging, but that's just like what we did on board the International Space Station. Our space station crew became our family in orbit. And we had to not only work with them all throughout the day, but we couldn't go home at night. We stayed there yeah. on board the station and had to interact as well. Uh, and so it became something that we did on a routine basis. And I think those interactions are very important and we actually train our astronauts uh, to improve those skills because we want everyone to play well with others well, what, what are the skills? Uh, on board the space station because you don't get to pick your crew. Uh, you're just gonna be up <laughs> yes. there and you have to make the best of whatever situation. Yeah, and of... also our lives depend on each other. So yeah, it's that's important. true. And it, it certainly feels like your life depends on the people in your household right now getting through the day as the hours roll by. So as people feel restless, just like you can't go to a bar when you're up there on the space station, we can't go to a bar down here on earth anymore. So what do people do? What are those skills uh, that can be applied to every day life to kind of get through this? Well, we call them expeditionary crew skills, but they include things like uh, teamwork and group living. And so recognizing that the team purpose is the most important and COVID-19 gives us a very uh, higher, higher purpose, much like being in space does, uh, because it, it, we are saving lives by quarantining. And so it is important to understand that bigger purpose and to embrace that purpose to give you reason and rationale for uh, continuing uh, to put up with the situation. And mm -hmm. then there's the, the actual interactions that you do with the people that you're living with. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you have to be able to communicate effectively. For, foremost, that is the most important thing you have to be able to do. And so that we always have these ideas that we think we're communicating and we have to make sure that that's actually our intent that's but, hidden but Peggy, in our head is actually being communicated. Peggy, what if there are no others to play with other than yourself? Because I'm sitting here thinking, I never get bored when I'm at home normally. I never get bored when I'm at home. But just knowing that I couldn't leave the house, all of a sudden my apartment seemed very boring. Did you ever get bored in space, number one, when you were there? And what advice do you have for people that don't have others to play with? Uh, well, that's that's a really good point, Gail. I think that... Uh, First, did you ever the, get bored in space? On board the space... Did you ever get bored? Not really. Yeah, 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 yeah I figured. I, not really, because I, I always had the option to look out the window, and it was <laughs> always an amazing view. <laughs> okay, I'll try but, that. But uh, down here... <laughs> Down here, the other thing I always used to do is test lists. I would make, make, I would do the extra, extra work that I've been thinking about doing or that I wanted to organize. Um, think about things that you know, having time. You know, so much of our lives these days is so busy and cluttered. And what are the, what are the things that you would do if you had more time? Is it to read? Is it, is it maybe to write poetry or mm -hmm. do art? What is it that that you know, has been the thing that's in the back of your head that Clean I wanted closets. to try and do this and I've never had time. Clean yeah. closets, but that's you know, what did I you, always did you ever, If you didn't get bored, did you ever get restless? 665 days in a, in a space station? <laughs> Actually, I didn't. Uh, it, for it's this such kind of a, an amazing today. experience. I, I think being part of something that's bigger than me, being part of exploration was really really uh, something special to be a part of. So even if I was just cleaning the uh, fan vil filtration vents, it was still keeping the space station alive and being a part of exploration. Yeah, that's true. All right, Peggy Whitson, Peggy, thank you very much.
Meanwhile, well, back here on Earth, I've been boring my wife terribly. I told her a story about it. I don't it. believe that. I, oh, my God. We've, we've, I we've don't gotten, believe Katie's bored with you. We've gotten ever. down to the level of, I'm telling you anecdotes about fifth grade football games and when I scored yeah, three she, touchdowns. Okay, she okay. posted okay. about okay. that over the weekend. That, that could be a snoozer. <laughs> I was acting them out. <laughs> <laughs> this well, added excitement. The Governor Cuomo here in New York, I think, over the weekend, even said he was starting to get annoyed at his dog. Yes, <laughs> I, I saw that. Not a good sign. Yeah, I saw that. All right, Peggy Whitson, thank you.